In this video, we will learn how to use a caliper and also how to create a jig. Now, the caliper is an instrument that measures things, and a jig is basically a frame a template, what you, what you put in your laser bed to hold objects to engrave them. So if I wanted to engrave multiple charms, it would be difficult to place them in the laser bed in the proper locations. So the jig holds these in the right place and it helps me to engrave a lot at the same time. So first of all with the caliper comes in a little box and you just turn it on with the on button and close it all the way so you can set the zero. When this is closed all the way it is currently not displaying zero. So I push zero and now I should get proper and accurate measurements. I'm creating a jig for these little silver charms that go on a Click It bracelet. I am going to create rectangles in my jig to house the charm. So my first measurement has to be across this way. I just open up the caliper by using this slide right here. I get the measurement, and it is, I realize it's upside down, excuse me, a 0.75. So I know that that is the dimension. I'm writing it down over here on my post-it note. And then I measure across, and this says 1.37, I'm going to just round that up to 1.37. 4 inches. And this can also measure in millimeters. If I just push this blue button, it would change the dimension. So that is what I will use to create my jig that will house the charms. I'm going to engrave it in a piece of alder wood. And I also will label the jig so I can remember what it is for. And when that is completed, I'll come back. I now have the jig created, and I had it engraved over here, jig for small charms. So when I place this in my laser bed, again, this was created in draw. So the layout for this is in draw, and then I can add in the text and, or images, whatever I need. So I created the jig. I can place these charms in to the jig that is would actually be inside my laser bed, not sitting here on a table, but inside the laser bed. I can engrave as many as 20, that is what this jig holds, but because I know the exact placement, I don't have to do 20 at a time. I can just do a few at a time, and the laser knows exactly where to go. Everything is lined up. The placement is accurate, and jigs can be created for a number of things. Uh, this is one example. Um, if I wanted to do a bunch of rulers, I would know exactly where to place them. This is another jig that I've done in the past, and what this one holds uh, are these uh, bottle openers. They fit right in there and engrave nicely. So creating a jig is very simple. Remember to label the jig so you know what it is for, and it helps you to have mass production in the least amount of time. Thank you for watching, using a caliper and creating a jig.